Welcome to my car paint tutorial. In this video I will show you how to create realistic shader for your cars and add imperfections. We start with this plane here with an asphalt texture. And what I do first is import a car. I do this with the transportation add-on and use the DB11. Of course you can also use any other car if you don't have the add-on. But if you want to download it, then you can find a referral link in the description. To edit the shader now, we select Make Editable for Animation. Now we can edit the shaders of the individual parts, for example the tires or the rims. But what we want to do now is to edit the car paint. Actually the color from the add-on already looks quite good. But if you don't have the add-on, then I will show you from the beginning how you can create a nice car paint. To do this, we delete the nodes here and create a new principal BSTF node. We connect it here and set the roughness to zero and choose a color. Maybe we will use a dark green. You can create the color for the car this way, but it doesn't look realistic yet. The first thing that we do is create a noise texture. We do the mapping real quick with the object mapping to get an even distribution. In between comes a color ramp with which we choose the color. To copy the color here, we display the hex code and paste it to the colors of the color ramp. We connect the factor output here and the color output to the principal BSDF node. To get a stronger contrast between the colors, you can pull this together. We might set the scale to 0.1 so that you can see better what I'm doing here. Here on the car, we now have this noise. As a result, the color is less uniform and looks a little more realistic. We now color the color ramp in the color that we copied from the principal BSCF. Here we click on hex code and paste the color. Over here we choose the same color, but make it a little darker. We now increase the scale again, maybe to 2 or 3. And if we zoom closer, we can see the noise here. I think that's a quite good effect. Next we create small bumps on the paint. To do this we first drag the weight up to 1 on the clear code and if we want it higher, for example 2 or so, then we have to enter it here, but we leave it at 1 for now. For the small bumps we need now a noise texture node and a bump node, which we connect here with the height. We connect the bump node here with the normal and see the bumps. To ensure that the distribution is even, we use object mapping again. Then we set the scale to 0.1 to see better what is happening here. For the noise texture node, we set the detail and roughness to 0. The bumps are still far too large. 0.5 should fit, but still a bit too strong. So let's go to the distance and set it to a very small value. Maybe we set it a little higher and can see the small bumps here, which break up the reflection a little. Without the nodes, the reflection would be far too perfect and even. These bumps create more randomness, which looks more realistic. Now we create the flakes on the paint. We do this with the Voronoi texture. If we display it, here, the color output, then we can already see the shape that we use for the flakes. We also select object mapping for the Voronoi texture, so that it's evenly distributed. Then we set the scale back to 0.1. From this we want to create a normal map for the principal BSDF node. To do this we first need a separate color node, which we put here, and a combined color node. I only connect the red and green channel and set the blue channel to 1. This is a technique to create a normal map from textures. We connect the result to the normal map and connect this to the principal BSDF node. Now we can see the flakes already sparkling, but they are still a bit too big. I set the scale to 2 so that it looks more like a metallic car paint, but the sparkling is still too strong. I set the strength of the normal map to 0.1 so that the effect is not that extreme. So now we have these bumps here and the Voronoi texture for the metallic flakes. On the principal BSCF node we increase the roughness and metallic values. This makes the car paint look very good.
Now I want to add a few imperfections on the car paint. I've already prepared a texture for this, these white marks here. You can find such imperfections on the internet or simply use a noise note if you don't have any, depending on the look you want to create. For the imperfections I need a different mapping, so I duplicate this node here and connect it to the UV socket instead of object. Here below I can change the size. I think 3 looks good. Then the white marks are a little bit smaller. To control the intensity we can create a color ramp and change the contrast. We combine the color ramp with the clear coat roughness and display the principal BSDF node again. Now we can see these spots in the reflections. The imperfections should make the car paint look less perfect and therefore more realistic. We can also make it more or less visible with the color ramp. The lighter the texture, the less reflective is the car paint. So white would be if we set the roughness to 1 and black would be 0. In my case I don't want the imperfections to be too visible. Just a few small spots. In general the car should be clean and not too dirty. I also got another imperfection here, these scratches. I then mix these here with the white marks. To do this I simply combined the two textures with a mixed color node and set it to lighten. Here you can see what it looks like with and without the scratches. I then combined the result of the mixed color node with the clear coat roughness. You can see the slight white marks and scratches quite clearly in the reflections. With the two color ramps you can also control the intensity separately. In the next video we show you how you can adjust the shader for tires. I hope you were able to learn a few things again and see you next time.